Good morning, good people. It is 7th February 2021. We celebrate the 5th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The readings are from Job chapter 7 verses 1 to 4 and 6 to 7. The second reading is from 1st Corinthians chapter 9 verses 16 to 19, 22 to 23. And the gospel is from Mark chapter 1 verses 29 to 39. A Polish man moved to the USA and married an American girl. Although his English was far from perfect, they got along well. One day he rushed into a lawyer's office and asked him if he could arrange a divorce for him. The lawyer asked him uh, to get a divorce, we need uh, grounds. So he asked, have you any grounds for divorce? He said, yes, an acre and a half and a nice little home. No, 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 I mean, what is the foundation of this case? He says, it is made out of concrete. No, I don't think you understand. Does a, either of you have a real grudge? No, 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 we have a carpet, he said. I mean, what your relations like? No, my relations are in Poland, he said. So he asked you, what is the thing you have as a proof to ask for divorce? He says, yes, yes, I have a proof. Uh, sh she going to poison me. She buys a bottle at a drugstore and put on shelf in bathroom. I can read it in English pretty good. And he said, what did you read? He said, Polish remover. The readings invite us to have a balance between our prayer and service. Preaching will be fruitless without prayer and service. Service to the humanity is the proof of our intense prayer. Praying alone is not enough for being a Christian, rather to show kindness and participate in the struggles of the other. Unless we enjoy service to the humanity, we cannot savor prayer. Without prayer, we may not even feel the need for service. Jesus demonstrated this balance, this equilibrium between prayer and service in action. Jesus addressed the spiritual hunger and took care of the physical ones too. Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 tells, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On a Sunday morning, an old man who was going to church fell into the sewage and the people who were passing by, one guy who was passing by looked at him and he was in the pit. He said to him, are you stupid and blind? You can't come uh, opening your eyes. The second one who was passing by took the Bible and held it over him and said, and I want to pray for you. After praying, he said, please hold this side and this side, then you can come out. How can he come out? The third person who was passing by, he looked at him. Even though it was so smelling, so horrible, yet he went in and lifted him out. Does it sound Familiar to you? Yes, that is Jesus. Who is not chased by sickness and suffering in our life? Especially during this time of pandemic, we are even more worried than ever. Look at Job, who expresses his inability to cope with the suffocation of suffering. He knew for sure that God alone can heal his wounds. We read in Job chapter 5 verse 18, for he wounds, but he also binds us. He injures, but his hands also heal. Again in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, we read, Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Surely he took up our pain and bore our sufferings. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 4. Why do we suffer then? 1. It is insufficient prayer. Imbalance in our daily life. The latest proven research tells us 
that prayers have profound impact on the healing process of a suffering person. Pope Francis invites us to waste time with our families. Let us invest time in people. Look at Jesus who visited an ordinary disciple's home and healing them. He was not tired of healing and doing things. Visiting a home means entering in their lives. We never get tired by loving others. If we are getting tired, then it is not love. Sometimes and something else will come. St. Paul knew the responsibility to preach without expecting. He was preaching. He himself says to win someone for Christ, I will do anything for them. There are so many people in our family still untouched by our own love. Loving people and sharing the good news without expecting anything is being a true Christian. Our contentment is the reward for loving and sharing good news. We do not need to change for others. Everybody is searching for you. They came and told Jesus. But what was the Jesus response? He was not uh, basking in their uh, you know, admiration. Rather, he said, let's go to another place. There also I need to preach. Yes, in our families, there are pockets, there are persons who are still untouched by our love, our care, our sharing. Jesus was not happy that everybody was looking for him. He wanted to move on further. What is our response to suffering people around us? We are not healers, yet we can ease the suffering by responding them empathetically. The friends of Job did not have years of listening and sharing. Rather, they were trying to defend God. They wanted to protect God. No, you don't need to defend God. Please defend your family, defend your friend, defend your children, defend your spouses. In what are the ways we are reaching out in people in need of help and healing? In the life of C.S. Lewis, he wrote a book, A Grief Observed. He is writing about his own wife who is dying of cancer. He wrote this quote, Where is God? Go to him when your need is desperate, when all other help is vain. What do you find? A door slammed in your face, a sound of bolting and double bolting on the inside. Even all this grief and pain, he did not lose faith in God. Finally, he ends the book this way. He says, because of this grieving, the love he and his wife had for each other had reached its earthly limit and it was ready for its heavenly fulfillment. Yes, we too are running like a weaver's shuttle between this end to the other end. But we can find hope, healing and blessing in Lord Jesus. Jesus is our shelter. He is our shade and he is our security. Do you believe that? As long as we are running for others' welfare and healing, our wounds are taken care by the one who loves for us nothing. Let us run towards the one who is in need and far distant heaven, we are assured of what we are looking for in him through others. May the Lord help us to reach others as we wish to be in touch with God. May you have a lovely day. God bless you.